What is up guys, my name is Nash, and uh, if you use Robinhood like me, you probably know that they do have a drip feature, uh, also known as dividend reinvestment program. So this allows you to uh, auto invest your dividends without having to do it manually, and it allows you to buy into fractional shares, and uh, Robinhood does have uh, fractional shares. So instead of having to save your dividends until you can buy a full share, you can actually purchase fractional shares with those dividends. So it just does it for you. I think it's kind of hard to find in Robinhood. That's why I wanted to do this video because, you know, when I first got it, I wasn't able to find where it was, you know, and how to enable it and how to use it. So I want to go ahead and show you guys how to use this in Robinhood. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Robinhood here. All right. So once your Robinhood is open, you want to go ahead and go to the settings and click where it says in investing and uh, you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find where it says a uh, dividend reinvestment so mine says enabled because it's obviously enabled and uh, it has a little explanation here that says dividend reinvestment which is also called drip so it automatically reinvest cash dividends payments into uh, additional shares of the underlying stock or fund so basically what it's saying is that it's gonna be able to reinvest uh, the dividends you get paid from your stock into that same stock right so let's go ahead and click where it says edit dividend reinvestment and as you can see on the top here is going to be the button where you enable and disable it so you can click this and this is going to disable the entire thing once you disable this a robin hood is not going to reinvest your dividends so you're going to see those dividends in your cash uh, management account but if you enable it uh, it's going to reinvest those for you here what it shows you is going to be the stocks that you have right so as you can see if you scroll all the way down you see all the stocks that i have so let's say i didn't want to reinvest my dividends back into apple you just go ahead and disable it and uh, it's not going to reinvest those dividends into apple and uh, you can do the same thing for all of this but i do have all of mine turned on because i want uh, everything to be reinvested back into the same company so that is how you enable drip in Robinhood. Thank you so much for watching guys. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to start using Robinhood, click the link in the description below. You're going to get a free stock and I'm going to get a free stock. And I'll see you guys on the next 